Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 19, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to begin by learning conditional formatting, and that is changing the format or the appearance of the data in your database based on the values of that data. I save this for the expert series because there are some advanced rules you can apply to conditional formatting that really make your databases look good. Conditional formatting is more than just a simple beginner topic. Then once we've finished conditional formatting, we'll move into exporting data from your database into other formats. We'll learn how to export to Excel, to a Word document, we'll learn how to perform a mail merge using Microsoft Word, we'll learn how to export to text files and the different types of text file formats, and we'll learn how to export to other database files. This class follows Access Expert Level 18. The topics in this class can really stand alone. You don't have to have taken the previous classes in the series. However, I do strongly recommend you take all of my classes in order and don't jump around a lot. Access Expert 18 covers crosstab queries, find duplicates and unmatched queries, and query properties. Today's class is recorded with Access 2013. If you have Access 2007 or 2010, you should be okay following along with this lesson. There are some minor differences with the menus and with conditional formatting, but you should be able to figure them out. It's not that different. If you have Access 2003 or earlier, I cover exporting in Access 308 and conditional formatting in Access 310. My courses are broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer level classes. Beginner level classes are for novices. You should understand all the topics covered in them by the time you get to the expert level classes, which you're in now. When you finish all of the expert level classes, the advanced classes will cover event programming and macros, and the developer classes will cover Visual Basic for applications. Each group of classes is broken down into multiple levels, level 1, 2, 3, and so on. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. 
One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn about conditional formatting, which is changing the format of a field based on its value or the value of other fields. In the next couple lessons, we're going to learn how to export data from our database into other formats. In lesson two, we'll learn how to export from Access to an Excel file. In lesson three, we're going to learn how to export data from Access into Microsoft Word. In lesson four, we're going to learn how to export text files from our Access database. In lesson five, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of export topics that we haven't covered yet.